Hey class, Kristen here. This is just a quick demo to show you how many different walk cycles you can make just by changing the passing position. So in a walk cycle, we have the key poses, which are our two contact positions. And then we have the passing position where, you know, the back foot, this yellow foot is starting to cross over and the weight shifts. And so this front leg is now straight and then we have the up position as the purple leg pushes off and then back to our key pose and then here's the other side so just by changing the passing position we can begin to create many variations on a walk cycle so i'll show you this with those poses timed out for a 16 frame walk cycle just because it'll be a little bit easier to see the timing. So here's our so-called normal walk cycle and let's just sw try swapping in some of the drawings that I made already, um, different options for a passing position. So let me try that on this layer here. Um, Okay, so let's try this pose for our passing position, right? So our character, as the leg is passing, they're going to tilt towards camera. And then here on the other side, the character will tilt the other way. So just by changing that passing pose, we can now begin to explore personality. We can explore weight shift. And let's just try one more. So this passing position is an integral breakdown position between the two key poses of the contact, the two contacts. So here is our other breakdown. Now it's passing with the character leaning backwards and then kicking up the knee, almost like a march kind of pose. So let's swap it out here too. Um, and then let's play that back and see how it looks. All right, so it, it's got this weird like kick up as the character goes through the passing position. It's almost like a reverse like rooster or like a pecking motion. Um, in any case, you can see how easily you can create variations on your walk cycle. And here I haven't even played with the timing of these poses either. I've just kept them at the standard timing. Um, and yeah, you can see how if you play with timing on top of playing with the poses, for the passing position and you know you can really get into it playing with the poses of the down position of the up position and you can get some really unique and character driven walks.